Hey everybody, it's Jean, and uh, I'm here, and I'm alive, and I dodged uh, a huge bullet this week, and I am, <laughs> I am trying to settle myself. I don't know why I start the video before I'm even seated and ready to go, but I turn it, I stand up and get it all set up turn it on and I start talking and then I've got to rattle around here while I'm <laughs> while I'm getting seated. Um, big story in my life this week is um, you might have heard something about the tornadoes in in the Midwest on Monday, the Memorial Day tornadoes. And <clears throat> uh, one of them went right by my house. It was uh, my house faces north. And one uh, went whistling right past me, um, south of my house, 500 yards. And I, uh, <laughs> I had been watching the tornado news all the time, um, all the all the time uh, that uh they first started uh, popping up and the weather started getting bad i turned on my tv to the local weather and and was watching the news and i'm sitting there all comfortable and and just completely um um feeling safe because tornadoes always hit um north of us in the country in um in the three uh, northern country uh, counties from mine. <clears throat> and sure enough, they kept reporting them from Preble County, from Green, uh, from uh, Clark County, from Miami County. They were, you know, reporting all of this. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm concerned. I'm, you know, knowing that there's so much acreage, it's unlikely very seldom do the tornadoes ever hit any homes or uh, they do some damage but they don't normally hit homes Pe loss of life is very very unusual uh, i i can't even remember anybody being killed by a tornado recently and so i'm i'm just kind of um watching tv and 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 look and thinking about it and um, they were saying, you know, if you've got a cell phone, get it charged now. Charge up your cell phone. And I'm thinking, yeah, if I was, boy, if I was there, I would be charging up my cell phone. I would be get, making all these preparations and all that. Suddenly, the, the tornado's reports kept coming a little closer and closer. And um, I started thinking, oh, wow, well, my son's out that way. Uh, celebrating Memorial Day and I was starting to get a little concerned about him and wondering if he was involved in any way and and about that time they started reporting a tornado coming uh, coming my way and of course um, by that time I'm you know thinking okay well I had a plan I had a plan already set up <clears throat> I had a plan set up I'm gonna show you this later that's some some happy mail that I've got um, I'm going to try and, and uh, just play a little bit in my book while I tell my little story because um, <clears throat> I'm already into it. <laughs> I was going to wait, show my happy mail first and then tell my story. But, um, and I've got so much mess on my desk, I'm just going to use what's on my desk. Um, it, it may turn out, it may not, I don't even know. I don't even care. I just feel like gluing tonight because because I need some normalcy. <laughs> so anyway, um, to long, I mean, just to take away some of the drama, my, my house was not hit. I, there was no damage uh, to my house or anything. So, um, you know, no, no worries as I'm telling the story. Um, <clears throat> but I, I hear, I hear the, the reports that the tornadoes are are kind of getting near Dayton, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, well, well, I better get get my closet, and I go in and I and I stand in the closet, and I stand in the closet and I close the door, and I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, 
<laughs> How long am I going to have to stand here? I can't stand here forever. I don't want to be standing here forever. So, um, so I'm thinking, okay, well, let's see, we'll go with pink. I don't know. Um, what can I use? Maybe some gold or something for a background. So, I don't know. And I'm, and I'm thinking, uh, well, maybe I'll use some red and yellow right here because I'm going to use what's on my desk. So my desk has red and yellow. It doesn't go with pink. Too bad. So I'm I'm looking. Um, I, I I'm thinking I can't stand here for a half an hour. Uh, I stood there for two minutes and I was already ready to sit down. And I was already tired and I was already thinking, oh my gosh. Um, I don't want to be in this closet for, for forever. And I couldn't see the TV. I kept leaning out of the closet to see the TV. And I thought, well, okay, I'm going to go get a stool. Uh, and so I went and I got a little stool. And I, ooh, that needs to be shook up really well, I guess. So I get the stool. I put it in the closet. Now I can't close the door. But my little hallway is very tiny. So... Truthfully, I could just stand right in the hallway and I'd be pretty safe because of all the doorways there. It's, you know, it's, that's not going to collapse on me. So, um, so I left the door open and I closed all the doors to all the rooms. Closed the door to the, the art room, closed the door to my room, closed the door to the bathroom. So no broken glass or flying glass could get me. So I felt like I was pretty, pretty well, um... Um, protected and um, I'm still listening to the news and, and I'm still hearing reports and I'm thinking oh gosh this is this is uh, this is not looking good and um, so then the newscaster gets on and he says if if you have a helmet if you know if you have a, a, a biking helmet or a bicycle helmet or anything put something over your head get something over your head and I'm thinking oh wow so uh, what do I have over I don't have anything over my head I look to the side of me and there's this empty box <laughs> so I put this empty box over my head it was it was just the right size it fit right on my shoulders very comfortably it was a smaller box and you know, I never remember to put something here so I don't ruin other pages. <clears throat> so there I'm sitting there with this box over my head. And oh, it was pretty, uh, it, was, it was getting hot and stuffy in there, even though the door was open. But the box was making it a little difficult to breathe. And um, the TV goes off. And, oh, we lost power. And I thought, oh, shoot, it's just like when I was in the hurricane. I was sitting down waiting to watch all the, all the drama, all the events and everything, and we lose power, so there's no TV. So I'm, I'm sitting there. My phone is useless. So many people are, are, are um, I, couldn't, I couldn't pull up. Um, my LTE, uh, so many, too many people were trying to do that, and so it wouldn't it wouldn't work. And uh, I had no internet or anything. And all of a sudden, I hear this high pitched whistle, and this kind of a, a whirring train like. And, and it's I I'm not going to say it sounded like a, a freight train. Everybody says it sounds like a freight train. It kind of kind of a rotating sound like that, similar to that. And I think, oh, that is a tornado. And, you know, of course, I'm praying and I'm praying for the safety of all the people in the path and all that. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty calm because I'm listening. I'm listening, listening, listening. But it's not getting closer. And what it was was, let's say there was a, let's say, this is, this is my house. And here's the tornado, and it's going this way. It's going from west to east, um, up here about 500 yards. My house is down here, um, 
and uh, I'm thinking it's not getting any louder. It's not getting any louder, so it can't be coming towards me. So I felt pretty pretty comfortable about that. And then all of a sudden, boom, it just stopped. The noise just stopped. So I thought, okay, the tornadoes lifted back up into the sky for a minute. They do that. They'll lift back up and then come back down. And so I don't know if that's what it did or not, but that's what I was thinking, and I felt pretty safe by then. So I'm talking to my uh, kids via text because that's the only thing that's working. And my daughter in Texas is is talking to me because she's watching the news online. And my daughter in in um, uh, uh, Cincinnati is watching uh, our local news and she's like, you know, freaking out. And then next thing you know, she's saying, get back in the closet, get back in the closet. There's another one coming. And, and, uh, um, they're, they're sending me pictures of the news reports, but of course they take forever to load and they weren't loading. So I was kind of reluctantly getting back in the closet, putting that box back over my head. My other son said it had already passed him where he was, but he couldn't leave because the tornadoes were all over in, uh, cause he had to drive on interstate 70 to come back home. So uh, the tornadoes were all over the area he had to drive in. So anyway, so uh, long long story short, it's already a long story. This is, I hear people say that all the time. Long story short, my response in my head every time I hear that is too late. Too late. Okay, but anyway, cut to the chase. <laughs> that tornado, that here I am here in this this, this little square here, and the, the one tornado went this way, and the other tornado, um, like I'm right here, the other tornado is down here about a mile. Now, it's, it's a, that's, that's a pretty good way. It's about a mile down here, maybe not quite a mile. Uh, and it's going this way. So, oh gosh. Okay, I have to put something over that. So, uh, so all in all, within a half an hour, or within maybe 20 minutes or so, I was near two tornadoes <laughs> and there was no damage to my house. There was uh, stuff dropped from the tornado onto my son's lawn. There was a lot of debris like, um, oh, leaves and shingles and um, uh, insulation and all kinds of things, um, you know, all over, all over our yard and plastered up against the house and everything. Or the glass doors, not, you know, not too much, but the, um, it was, you know, uh, stuck onto the doors the next day and everything. But um, nothing happened in my immediate, uh, my my little neighborhood is like two, 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 two streets and a cross street. And it goes maybe a little ways, little ways up each way. But it's like two streets, one little cross street. And that's my little section of the neighborhood. The other part of the neighborhood is somewhat um, industrial and there's homes right in here and right up here where the tornado went through is one of the worst areas of the city. During this time, there were like, um, there were like, they didn't know what they thought there were four or five tornadoes as it turned out. Over the course of time, they have determined that there were, I've heard reports, 14 and reports of 15 tornadoes. Um, in our multi-county area, and of course up in, in Salina, which is very high up in the other county. So it's been, um, it's been devastating. The power stayed out. Um, there was no law. There was only, there was one man, that, an elderly man who lost his life because he was in bed and something happened and I heard two reports about what happened and I don't know if either one of them were accurate. They're both different stories and so I'm not going to repeat them because I don't know if they're accurate or not. Um, there was one one elderly man uh, that did lose his life, uh, but there were 
only around 60 injuries because this the this news that I was watching all evening was he was just frantic this this news guy he was just frantic the whole time he's reading reports all these reports are coming in from all over and he's like you know trying to get his news crews out of the way he's trying to report where this is happening it's all happening so fast and it's just going on and on and on and on and on and then he's dealing with people um, who are complaining because he preempted their programs these people who were not in the tornado area so um, so he was frantic and it, it was um, it was really crazy to watch so um, anyway uh, it was it was just um, it was a very it could have been a very scary time it wasn't for me my son went out that night and took a tour of the damage. He knew that that our corner up here in this section of town here, our grocery store and um, our, our florist, I mean, the best florist in Dayton, I think, is right here. And, uh, um, several, and there's an industrial park way over here, uh, here that just, oh, so much, so much damage, so much damage, all the homes along here. It was from my street up uh, was all the damage, but nothing from my street over. Um, I told somebody <laughs> that this is the, my actually my second tornado that I've ever been in. When, um, when the kids uh, were really little, I'm looking for something. I, I oh, I know. I wanted this. I'm gonna put her on here. Um, I don't know if I want quite that much red. I'm gonna. Do I have any papers on here? Oh, here's some pink. I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want that, but I'm going to put it on there because I don't like all this red. Um, years and years ago, we had we had just um, we had just moved to this area in Kokomo, Indiana, and um, um. I don't know where my thoughts are. I know I'll take this this little thing off this advertisement. We were moving to Kokomo, Indiana, and I hadn't been there. My husband always goes ahead, and he um, and he rents the house. Um, this was way back, way back in the early '70s. He rents the house. And then I move up there. And um, uh, while he was up there looking for a place to live, I remember I had this dream that we had moved and there was a tornado coming. And in the dream, I could see the tornado coming down through this wide field with with um, power lines and and uh, crosses the street, comes into the neighborhood where I'm at, and comes right up the street where I'm, I'm living, and boom, hits the house. Okay, this was my dream. Um, isn't that crazy? I can remember that, but I do. I remember that dream. And I, I remember it because when we moved there, um, uh, we had a tornado, and after uh after the tornado was over um there was it went right over my neighborhood it went right, went right over my house but it didn't touch down and um and i'm driving around afterwards we were looking to see you know if there were any damage if it had touched down anywhere 
and we're riding along the street and I realize, oh my gosh, this is the same place as in my dream. And I realize all of a sudden it came back to me, my dream was the neighborhood that I actually was living in. Um, and I don't remember if it was any actual houses or anything, but it was the actual direction from the, it was all the directions were right and so forth. But I had dreamed about that tornado. Uh, but anyway, the tornado didn't touch down, didn't hit me. But it was a crazy story, and I was absolutely um, um, I was um, I, I felt um, I felt like um, I felt like um, like I had a premonition about that tornado uh, even though in reality nothing actually happened or anything but it was really crazy that I I had seen the um, I had seen the house. I had seen the area that we were living in, and there actually was a tornado at that time. Now, I saw something on my desk here earlier that I wanted to use, and I can't find it. Do I do I seem really disoriented? I have not been able to settle down to even try and get a video out, so. All of you pay no attention to me. I'm just, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling, and I'm crazy, and I don't know what I'm, I'm doing or thinking, and, and um, I'm just. I know, I know. I'm kind of sad because I want to, I want to use this one thing. It's a, it's a sticker. And I've dropped it, or. Oh, there it is. I thought I saw this uh, when I was getting sitting down and getting set up and I thought I'm going to use this because I had tried several heads on this lady before and I couldn't find anything that I really liked so I'm going to just draw a little face on here <laughs> so anyway, so that's my little fun thing to do for her. And I'm wondering, should I? I can never get these these stuck. Uh, so anyway, I told somebody about that story. I mean, I told somebody I had a strange story about the other tornado I was in. So. Anyway, all this week, we've been without power. Power didn't come on until this afternoon. And I'm so happy to have power, but um, I realize I need to get a video out. I've had several people contact me and, you know, check and see if I was all right, you know, through Facebook. And I am. I am perfectly fine. Do you think I can... Give her some wings. I think I'll pick up her arm here and put some wings there. But um, I haven't been able to make any phone calls. I haven't been able to make any um, um, my, the phone service has been just really bad just because it's um, uh, because they're, because uh, everybody's um, everybody's trying to use it all at once and I think a couple cell towers um, were damaged and anyway we just had some some problems so I haven't even hardly been able to talk on the phone much last couple days yeah I, I've been able to talk a little bit but um oh you know what I need I need a little flower maybe for her hand there oh it would be wait a minute I'll put a little flower for her hand here because that shows up a little bit better and then let me see do I have anything 
Uh, I think I'll <laughs> I think I'll have her holding a pop because I don't know what else to do there. Okay. So, so, yet today, when the power came on, I started to feel a little bit more like normal. Um, I don't know why. I, w I was fine. There was no problems other than we didn't have any, uh, yeah, we have any light or air conditioning. We didn't have any internet. We didn't have any TV. We didn't uh, have very little phone service. <laughs> So I wasn't feeling like myself. I just, I was disoriented. I could do all this art. And did I sit down? Did I sit down with any of my books or anything? No, it was dark in the evening. That's when I generally work is in the evening. It was dark. So I couldn't, now I've lost my glue. I don't think I'm quite all there yet. So... So anyway, and the whole time I kept thinking, I should be making a video, I should be making a video. Well, I didn't want to be on camera making a video um, because I wasn't doing any art. There was nowhere to do art because it was so dark everywhere. Uh, it was dark in the house. It was uh, even dark on the patio because it's been overcast. Uh, even during the day, it just seemed like it was just too dark to do videos. So I don't know. I was just... Uh, I've just been disoriented all week. And there's been so much going on. I just today got out my um, tags uh, for the people that asked for tags on my last video. Because since, um, since I offered them, I have had, I have had, um, um, I've had, Two graduations out of town, and um, I'm going back and forth. My, my other daughter was visiting, so I was going back and forth every day uh, instead of just staying there just because it was more convenient for me to do it that way. And we had the two different graduations. We had the party. We had uh, a girl's day out. We had... Um, just all kinds of things we were doing that week. Then, uh, my grandson had a birthday. I had a birthday. My niece had her 40th birthday and she was throwing a party and that was four hours away. So I'm going to this party and then I ended up staying the night anyway. I was, we weren't sure if we were going to do that or not. My daughter and I drove down. And so, so I've, <laughs> we had, uh, I told somebody in, in my letter I said that I sent with, with the tag, I said, well, I've had two graduations, three birthdays, and multiple tornadoes, and I'm just a little disoriented. <laughs> I just got a little behind here. <laughs> so anyway, so they just, they just went out, and, um, and so we'll see. Um, I'm glad that they're out. And I, I'm not feeling it yet. I'm not feeling it. I'm wanting to do this. I'm wanting to do my, um, I'm wanting to do my, my book here. I'm wanting to glue. I'm wanting to play. And I'm not feeling relaxed because, let me put that there. I'm not feeling very relaxed because um, I'm, I'm trying to tell a story. Uh, you know, I'm finding I'm not very good at, at talking and gluing some days. Some days I'm just not good at it. And um, other days, I'm worse. <laughs> put that in there. I'm going to just use what's on this desk. You know I'm going to use what's on this desk? Because I don't want to put what's on this desk away. I just, I just want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it here. So I'm just going to... Uh, instead of finding some place for it, I'm just going to put it here. I'm just going to put all my, my goofy things here. This, I've even been trying to, to put this tag in a book or do something with it. I've had this tag forever. There. 
now it's in there. Okay, before I go any farther, um, uh, another thing I was going to tell you, I think, somewhere, uh, I was going to remind you about the contest. Um, I haven't, uh, I announced the contest, and then I've not said a single word about it after that. Um, I've gotten an entry, and I have not even opened it because I wanted to do it on camera. And I'm going to do that in another video because uh, too much is going on in this one. And I have some other happy mail to show you. So I'm going to wait on that one. And um, But I only have one entry so far, and I've got a couple on the way. But if... If you um, if you want to, this is a good time to enter the contest because so far there's just a few that have entered, and um, and and that's fine. Um, I don't want to take away from those who entered and try to to drag in more, but I just want everybody to know that there is a little contest going. Not a <laughs> I don't know. Not a contest. A giveaway. A little giveaway, and. Um, I just want you guys to know that it's, it's there. So, um, so I'm going to put a link, I'm going to put a link up in the corner, um, to the contest, uh, or the giveaway uh, rules and all that kind of stuff. And you have to make a comment, um, on that, uh, video and like it. And, um, just so that I don't get a lot of spammy people from uh, that are trolling, uh, entering, just entering anything, uh, because all you have to do is comment. Um, I just have to, everybody just send me a little something. Something in an envelope, uh, one little postage stamp, uh, or a postcard, or a little uh, ATC, or magazine clipping uh something it does i don't need, i don't want you to spend any money i want you to, do, to make something out of out of your own trash or your own scraps uh some sort of a a, a tag or a, or an atc or or just cut out some clippings that you think are cute and that i might use in a journal and i will definitely use it um if you send it so um, I, I'm not trying to scarf up stuff. I have plenty of stuff. I don't want you to be sending a bunch of, you know, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not looking for a bunch of stuff. I just want interested. I want my own people or people who are new, who have just discovered my channel. Um, I want those people. I want people who are interested in what I'm doing to be involved in the contest. So. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But I just want uh, I just want you to know it's there. It's still ongoing. You still have time to enter. It's open to anybody, and so um, you have to email me for my address. So um, that takes a little bit of time. But if it's in the mail on the day that I'm doing the drawing and um, and it's and you've already and you've sent it even if you've sent it the day before I will uh, put your name in the drawing your name will be in and I won't send if your name is drawn and I haven't gotten your package I will wait until I get it before I send you the the prize but um, <clears throat> do I have the prize here oh yes I do I put it in this little bag to keep it nice and clean but it's um, it actually goes this way. It's a little. It's um. It's a journal, uh, like a planner journal. It's a. It's. It can be a planner because it has all the dates in it, or it can be a journal because you can cover it all up. So, it's however you want it, and um, it can be whatever you want it to be. So there. That said, and I wanted you to get in that, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my birthday, which was fun and I'm in my last year of my 60s now so I am getting old I'm getting old very fast 
Uh, you would never, um, never know it because sometimes I do silly things. But um, people tell me I don't act too elderly. <laughs> I hope I don't, but I also don't want to act too young either because I'm not young. Not young anymore. I'm, I'm in my golden years and I love being retired and I love not having a lot that I have to do and I, I love that. And um, uh, the, girls, um, the girls day out when I went out with my two daughters and my two granddaughters, we had a lot of fun. We went over and explored a little town that we hadn't been to in a long time in Kentucky, hadn't been to in years and my granddaughters had never been there. And we just we just had a really fun day, and part of it was celebrating my birthday, and part of it was celebrating my uh, my Mother's Day. So um, so that was fun. Oh, and uh, I got oh, and you know what? This uh, this came in the mail, and I've been meaning to glue because it came uh, it, it got a little bit of mail mail damage. But I got this very nice little birthday card from Allie, and I was so pleased to get it. And she had made it a while back and decided to send it to me for my birthday. She had meant to send it before, but then she just sent it for my birthday. And I thought that was very nice that she remembered. Um, <clears throat> my birthday, um, I like to forget it sometimes, but anyway, <laughs> that's my birthday. And then this... This package um, is so nice. I got that from Alyssa. So it's like two alleys. There's Allie and here's Alyssa with a, or Alicia, I guess it, I would say. I don't know why. I think it's Alicia and I always think Alyssa when I look at it. Uh, but she sent, um, but she sent me She sent me a very nice, um, a very nice uh, card and letter for Mother's Day, and I love that. Um, she's not able to get online right now, uh, but uh, hopefully she will be. And look what she sent me. She sent me this. I'm going to use these. I think that's so pretty. And she sent me this. So that's going to go in a journal, but not in this one. It's going to go in my other one that has the you know the the rings on it because there's more room so um so that was very nice and i really thank you and i used to use this stuff a lot when i was making um uh when i was making uh pocket letters i loved using it and i haven't used it for a long time i used all up what i had and i haven't used it for a long time so i'm really happy to have that but it was really fun. Isn't that pretty how she, how she sent the card? Now, I put this on here to cover up my address. Because <laughs> I'm going to use this just like it is. Um, but uh, I thought that was very, very pretty. And it was fun to get it in the mail. I love to get happy mail. If you get the inside right, the outside will fall into place. How true is that? So... Maybe I should, maybe I should cut some of this out and put it right in here. I think that would be good since I'm just using up what's on my desk. And this was on my desk. But Alicia, I just appreciate you and I, I appreciate your nice, long, newsy, uh, enjoyable uh, letters because it's just these days hardly ever get um you hardly ever get real letters even even in our little artsy community we don't really write letter letters we write notes but she writes a long letter and i have not answered it yet and i have not answered it yet because <laughs> that looks pretty I have not answered it yet because I have had three birthdays, two graduations, multiple tornadoes, Mother's Day celebrations, 
since all this came. And actually, this little Mother's Day card came after Mother's Day. Um, I don't know what the delay was, but it was a little bit of a delay. And it came after Mother's Day. Now, I'm using this. You know what this is? This is my... Um, I painted over addresses. You know what? I'm going to tear it just because I like torn pieces. I'm going to tear it again because I like torn things. There. There. That's fun. That's fun. And you know what? I want to stamp. I feel like stamping something. Now I know that I saw on my desk some red, an ink pad. There it is. It wasn't red. It was, it was this archival black. So I'm going to stamp this on here. There. That's fun. And I'm not really making a, um, I'm not really making anything. This is nothing. <laughs> this is just gluing down what's laying on my desk. But I, I kind of like that little stamp. And you know where I got it. I got it at the thrift store. I have gone to the thrift store several times. I just cannot stop myself from going. I love going. And I'm finding so many, many sheets of stickers and fun things. I just can't help myself. I just can't stop. So, and then I ordered magazines. I got magazines for $2 a year, and I got Oprah and um, um, a design magazine. What is it? This one. Oh, my gosh. This decor magazine. I love this magazine. I love this magazine. Every page has stuff in it I want. I want to put all this stuff. Look at that. I want to put all this in my journals. Um, all these pages are just so awesome every look at this is that just as cute as it can be I, and look at this i love this magazine even the ads are awesome look at that chair but look i mean i i've just got to cut look at that word unmatchable just everything about this magazine i love i can't believe i'm going to get it for a year look watercolor somebody did a watercolor two watercolors about a little story that there I haven't even read the story but I've got to read the story before I start cutting up this magazine but I love it look at that there's just so much in this magazine I can't I, I can't even begin to tear it up because I don't know which sides I want to use on things um, I just see so much in here I want to use. Can you um, can you believe the background here? I want to cut that picture out. Somebody made a circus tent bedroom. But look at all this stuff on that desk. I, you know, I like messes like that. Look at that background. Is that just terrific? That's her wallpaper. That's the wallpaper in this house. There's the lady. Can you see her? There's the lady. Look at that dress she's got on. I'm going to say I love this magazine. This is the second issue I've gotten. And I might even pay full price for it if I can't get it again. Look at that chandelier. Somebody made this chandelier out of... Um, um, it looks, uh, they, it looks like it's like dripping with candle wax from years ago. Um, but this one was made, um, with plaster, hand dip plaster and let it drip, drip, drip. 
I even like the Tiffany ladies. So anyway, so that's that's um, I, I've got I've been getting magazines and I've been getting fun things and I ordered a whole bunch of different stickers which I've already showed you. Um, there, I cut that out for something and didn't use it. So let's use it here. Um, that's a great, great color for this particular page. This is this awful, awful glue that I bought. I don't know why I'm still using it. I maybe should have used this for her face. I still could. No, nope, I'm going with my first one. That can just be down there. And I need to, I want to put something right here. I want to put something right there. And, um, what else am I going to do? I, this is the biggest mess of a video ever, but I'm trying to get myself back together. Oh, I was going to tell you, I was going to try and just tell you about the, the, the tornadoes, but since I had no electricity, um, my hair, I couldn't blow dry my hair. So when I would get a shower and shave, you know, towel it dry, th that's how it looked <laughs> all week no matter where I went and I had to go out I had to go out after coffee you know they closed down all the McDonald's in the city except one and they wouldn't even make coffee because we were under a boil advisory I had water I had water and I had gas um the gas never did cut off just the electric power but the gas was still on, so not only did I have water, I had hot water, so I had hot showers all week. So that was fun. But I couldn't do a thing with my hair, so of course I couldn't be on camera. And I'm not a camera person anyway. I don't know why I don't want to be on camera. I, I'm not a real camera person. People know what I look like. I have Facebook. There's pictures there if anybody is curious about what I look like. But um, I'm not a real camera person, and I don't, I don't really like being on, on camera. Isn't that cute? I just want to use this somewhere. Maybe I should use it right here. This is, I like how this page turned out, but wouldn't that be cute on there? Nah, I don't know if I like it. Um, so anyway, okay, what do I have on my desk that would fit there? I see this, I see this that I was going to, um, that I was going to put in in my journal or in or in this book. I don't know. I could put it right. I could put it on that page. I could put that on that page. I kind of like it on that page. It gives that page a little extra oomph. Let me put some glue on it. And see if I like it tomorrow. Because sometimes these things will just pull right off. I'll make it a little pocket. I kind of like this little bird. I usually do faces and I saw this bird that somebody had done on one of my Facebook groups and I really loved it and I copied it. It's a shameless copy. You know what? You might not even be able to see it. I may not even be on the camera. I may have done all this. Nope, I am. I'm on. Okay, I was going to say I may have done all this talking and not even be able to use it. Okay. So. So anyway. I copied it. And of course it doesn't look anything like hers because my style comes through and I am not able to copy exactly. Um, but you get the gist of it. It's just kind of an unusual bird. And I added the little crest on it and, um, and all that. But I didn't want to post it on my Facebook group because I copied it. 
<laughs> and I didn't want anybody to know I copied it. So, um, well, I did, I did put it, I think, on Instagram. Um, when I, I have two Instagrams. I have an art Instagram where I just do faces, and I have an Instagram uh, that's like a personal Instagram. And I think I put it on there. So, uh, so anyway, still looking, still looking, still looking. I must have something here. I must have something on here. I could, I could put a butterfly that's laying on my desk. I could put a present. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut out that present. Put it there. I know I need something there that's looking empty. And being that this is my birthday month, present is kind of nice. And on my birthday, I uh, decided that I'm going to the Goodwill outlet and have fun and just spend all the time I want looking through the bins. And then later on I met up with my son and we had uh, dinner out. He bought my dinner. We had a really nice Mexican dinner. Do I really like that? I think I'll put it on there, but I don't want it to be the focal thing. It looked better on the green background than it does I'll put it like that, and then let's see what else I have. I know I've got stuff. That's too big. I don't want to cut that up. Oh, here's another tag I made. I was making those big tags and ended up making that tag. And I think I actually have some video of me making that tag. You might see that later. If I get desperate, I can't. I might have to pull up that video and. Okay, I'm not seeing anything on my desk that I can use. What might I have? I could use another butterfly. That would fit. That would fit, but I don't really like that color. Of course, these are laying on my desk. I could choose a different color. I could choose a green one. Or a blue one. A blue one has more color to it because it's going to go back on the pink. Is that too big? Let's see. Let's see. I'm just going to just, just take one last look around. Oh, I do have all this. I have all these papers. Maybe there's something in these papers. Uh, well, well, these are all just background pages. Look at that. Is that just pretty in a magazine? Look, it was this was this was the double page spread. Okay, let's think about this. Oh no, this is a this is a this is a book I want to do for I make like a little journal. Okay, I think I think we're we're going with the going with the butterfly, and then I'm gonna say goodbye because that's my journal journal page for the day, my big tornado story, and I'm not very good at telling stories.
but everybody um everybody had different like my my son uh, who lives next door he had the same thing i did you know with the i can't ever get these apart i don't know what's uh, i need a pin i need a little pin to pull that apart oh i know what i could do let's let's do a um a fortune there was no fortune and they told me that there was going to be a tornado. Okay. Now, if you're on an odd number day, it's going to be yellow. Because today's an odd number day that I'm doing this video. A furry animal will become one of your closest friends. So if you're watching this on an odd number day, that's in your future. If you're watching this on an even number day, you will be happy with your next art project. Okay, so that's your fortune. And I'm going to try and get this. There is a way to do this, I'm sure, without having to use a pen. And I think it was kind of rolling it off of the plastic background is how I've been doing it. These are just so pretty. These little butterflies. There. Okay, that's it. And I'm gonna show you this up close. And that's using just what I had on my desk so I didn't have to throw it away or put it away. And there's my little bird. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I keep, I keep fluctuating in my subscription, but someday I'll get up to the, uh, to the 900 mark <laughs> and then I'll have to do another giveaway. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for posting comments and, uh, thanks for all your concern. Um, that you had for me when you heard about the tornado on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.